And still, after nearly a year of doing the community show, I don't have an intro. So hi. Terrific. Hello. <laughs> hi. It's good to have you round. Thank you for having me. No, absolutely. It's just, although it's not the first time we've crossed paths. Is it not? We've have met before. We haven't spoken, but we've bumped into each other at LFCC. You were the Ood, weren't you? You were Brian. Were you Brian the Ood? <laughs> not at the con, but that was someone else. Oh, that's I don't. Again, we. I don't think we spoke, but we were in like a circle. It was like Dom well, and sense. a few others. I remember spotting you because you had large fake breasts, and I was trying to figure out if they were real. Yeah, I'm six foot two. You don't tend to get women with large breasts that tall. <laughs> Sort of eye height. To yeah. Yeah. So that's a good way of starting this interview off. <laughs> I don't just go around talking about looking at people's breasts, by the way. I should mention that. <laughs> anyway. I, li- I like saying that and then glancing over to the engagement balloons. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, make sure the fiance is there. She's like, she's, uh... she's some. So, um, first question, a fairly standard question. Mm-hmm. When did you start cosplaying? 2015, I decided I really wanted David Tennant's coat. And thought, it's a good starting point. I'll have that, and I'll just wear that as a coat, because it's a really nice coat. And then I foolishly thought, oh, well, if I have the coat, I'm going to need the suit, and the converse, and the screwdriver. Oh, OK. And, and I ended up with a really long list of shirts and ties and hair products, and it's a nightmare that was a deep mistake <laughs> six or seven years on it's always what you want to hear from different cosplayers it's just like it's a mistake don't do it like, stay away <laughs> think of your bank account <laughs> it's not worth it it's not worth it oh god like I mean specifically with especially the 10th Doctor coat mm-hmm. I can imagine that as a starting point was fairly pricey I had a cheap-ish China one so it was quite a thin material mm. the so on the back of the coat it's got a split that's supposed to kind of stretch out oh, yeah. but because of the way it had been laid and how cheap the fabrics were it looked more like I had a, a vagina on my back oh and that was that was a couple of years of wearing that coat of <clears throat> why have you got a vagina on your back <laughs> don't think about it it's not it's fine but eventually I upgraded that to a proper nice replica that was very expensive was that like the one with the BBC shop? I remember that was available for a while. Nope, that, this one was the Magnolia one. Oh yeah, they're pr- good mm, but pricey. So pricey. Uh-huh. Wow, that is currently hanging up in a wardrobe and is not being touched at the moment. Just, we, well, we from what I understand from your stuff, you like to do the sort of niche cosplays. Mm. So something like the Tenth Doctor, which is oversaturated. I know because I've done it. That's how, that's how you know everyone does it because Jack does it. So I imagine that's just like, you'll have your time. It did get a bit boring to wear when you're kind of... You can turn up to a con and be the only Rani in a Doctor Who group, cosplay group. Yeah. Or you can be one of 25 tens. And me. <laughs> just in a just to get the comparison. Mm. <laughs> boring. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's at this point, Jack will take off the purple jacket. Because he's um, baking. Sweltering. Too hot. Which is ironic, because this is not the Doctor. <laughs> this is not the Baker of all the Doctors. Yeah. <laughs> now I can be journeyed to the centre of the TARDIS, Smith. Roll up the sleeves. Yeah. Much better, but I'm not the one wearing a jumper. No, it's a <laughs> Oh, it was a mistake. But you're styling it out with the scarf, though, so that's I pretty good. So. It's all just clashing colours. <laughs> just making sure you're seen. on the screen. <laughs> It's just I'm going to bump up the saturation just to make it oh, like good. So just oh. very hair. Yeah. Very, yeah. <laughs> so oh, that covers the first cosplay too. So this is going to be a tricky question, and I've actually also interviewed Abby Louise of the TT Hoovians, mm-hmm. um, and she's got the same thing where she likes to do a bunch of different yeah. little ones. How many characters? Let's speak to Doctor Who. Do you think you've done at this point? Mm. This is going to be tricky. No, I'll have a counter on screen of just like ding ding ding. <laughs> I had. Do you want me to list them? Let's give it a go. Let's list oh, them. It'll be quite, I'll okay. keep it. I'll keep track in the edit. In order, f- I think the earliest one I've done. So it was the Mark of the Rani Rani. Mm. Mark of the Rani Rani. The Mark of the Rani Rani Rani. <laughs> uh, it uh, has any master. Uh, the time and the Rani Rani, because it's an entirely different set of clothes, different wig, everything. Thanks, um, costume department of Doctor Who. Making things tricky. The dimensions in time, running. 
Good so Lord. I've got all three of them. <laughs> I think that's it for classic. Then you've got the Ninth Doctor. I've got Jackie Tyler. Uh, that's a personal favourite because you I took a picture with Camille Cowdery wearing that didn't you I haven't met her wearing it yet oh have you I not I her dressed as nine she gave me a good slap but I'm going <laughs> to meet her one day in that pink dressing gown uh, Jackie and then I think oh Christ this is where it gets tricky <laughs> come on right who is it after Jackie I'm trying to think in all the yeah. episodes it's like I'm, I'm remembering I don't think it's anyone up until Christmas Invasion. I've got ten pyjamas, ten. Oh, that's a good one. I've got Chip and Cassandra from New Earth. See, again, just those two in particular, I thought nobody would do it. Nobody would think to do it. I, I adore that woman. <laughs> America is, is my icon. And that action figure was the one I so desperately wanted when they first released them. So I, want, I want the skin... On, on wheels. Yeah, I see, I, they did two versions of that and I only got the destroyed one, yeah, which is just the, the frame. Yeah, Wonderful. rubbish. Why did they release that? Series 2 is a wild time. Woolworths wanted an exclusive and they gave them like a week Is that what it do. was? They were like, we want an exclusive figure, you have four days. <laughs> like, okay, we'll just take the skin out of the <laughs> Well, I mean, it works. I'd love to see him pull that now. We don't see Woolworths anymore. No. And it was all destroyed Cassandra's fault. Blame that. Mm. But she's a treasured figure. I have both of them. Oh, see, I lost mine years ago. No. Uh, trashy. Right. Cassandra Chip. Sarah Jane from School Reunion. Mm. Uh, Sarah Jane from Invasion of the Bane. Oh, I like that one. That's the she's purple that, cardigan. The cardigan yeah. and the striped dress. This is just me testing my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> um... Tenth Doctor from The Rise of the Sidemen, it's the black suit. Oh, that's a good one. And also the Tux, which is a different suit, so both of those. Is it? It is a different one. Oh. It's just a black suit in Rise of the Sidemen. Oh, I see, I wouldn't know. it's a Tux in Lazarus Experiment. Cool. Hmm. I've also done The Wire. Oh, that's a good one. She was great fun. I did, because it was the 15th anniversary of Series 2 last year, so I tried to do as many as I could from that. I did Toby Zed last year. Toby Z. I did. It was oh, all the, from yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Victor Kennedy and the Absorberloff, which were not. How have I not? Looks. How have I not seen Don't the Absorber? Back and find them. Oh, I'm finding it's it. Green face paint. <laughs> it's, it was hateful. Oh, I was God. late to meet a friend that day. It's like I've, I've got to wash all this green off me. Just no, should have just gone. Should've just freaked him out. Just drawn on fucking. It just not like completely just ignore the fact that you're absorbed off. Just like, oh, you're right, mate. Yeah. Just you're, never bring it you're up. You're right, Ollie. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, just looking a bit ill. Yeah. Really? Oh, I have got a bit of an upstairs time. <laughs> just faces. Yeah. <laughs> uh, absorbed off. Yvonne Hartman. Mm. There's definitely a theme with a lot of the women characters Mainly you do. Unpleasant women. Interesting. Like is that a conscious little, choice or is he just drawn to them? I probably am one. And so it's just, <laughs> that's who I want to be. I want to be the nasty cow. <laughs> well, fair enough. Everybody's got to have their thing. Exactly. My niche, uh, <laughs> Donna and the Runaway Bride. She was quite nasty in that one. What? I've done Sylvia and Wilf. And Wilf. And You've Wolf. got the whole noble clan. Exactly. I've that's got that's got to be a funny family photo. you just got to put them all together. I did. I've got... <laughs> me, it's me as Wolf and me as Sylvia just next to each other. Excellent. Uh, after that, series three, I've got all three of the John Sim Master looks. Ooh, good ones. So there's the Saxon, the hoodie from the end of time, and the series ten. That's a good shirt. look. That's a nice one. Oh, I saw your Miss Foster. That was one. Miss Foster. Because that's the one I put yes. in the community show. She's terrific. I was very glad to find that sort of double breasted jacket like that. That was. Lovely. How much of this is screen accurate as opposed to just sort of generally looking like it? Because sometimes they're very specific. Most of it isn't unless I can find a specific piece. If it's someone like the Tenth Doctor or. Sarah Jane from School Reunion, I was quite adamant to find her jacket because it's a quite specific brown leather jacket right. with like buckles on the pockets. Mm. And I thought if I can find that, then I'll. The rest of it I can kind of bodge together, but yeah. that just a staple piece 
that is accurate and the rest of it can look the part. So try to find high res images from 15 years ago where you can tell on the button it says Karen Millen. It's like, oh, yeah. oh now I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> a 15 year old brown leather jacket. God. I mean, you must have felt like a, just a spy, just like, enhance, enhance! Exactly, it's just trying to find the angles. I, I'm desperate to find her jacket from Stolen Earth, which is a sort of... Oh, yeah, the sort of creaky, beige, yeah. creamy, and it's slightly asymmetrical, and I have no idea where it's from, Ooh, yeah. and I will never find one. If you know, if let you us know. It, if Get you in have contact. one like that... Give it to me. <laughs> no excuses. Give, me, give it to Ollie. That would be mean to not give it to me. It's a charitable donation. Exactly. <laughs> I don't. God knows what number we're at right now. Christ. <laughs> It'll be on screen. Enjoy it. Who did I get up to? The Masters. Oh yeah. I did a, a half a Missy look. The all good one. Put together her nice hat from Series Ten. That was fun. Ooh, lovely. This is her bracelet as well from Series Eight. Oh, is it? It is. Ooh. I did a swarm. Oh god, that swarm one, yeah. <laughs> Worrying. So much just purple and then gold eyeliner. It's the nose that cracks me up. It was not great fun to just sort of colour out. Just pretend I haven't got one. Just go with it, go with it. Is that all of them? No, I must have done more. I tell you what, I put together a collage. Oh, did you? Ah, oh, yes. Anniversary of the re. Well, let's let's have a look at this collage, see what we missed. So we've got uh, the wire. You've got oh, uh, Professor Yana. I put together oh, John Smith from Human Nature. Mm -hmm. I'm playing him in Paul the Animated Series Three that's coming out today. Nicely done. Well, when well, you can Maybe do the not voice. Quite so nicely done. <laughs> Yeah, it depends on the audience, really, doesn't it? Because, good lord, that man made me say some truly horrific things to John Smith. <laughs> Uh, I did a Max Capricorn edit. Good lord. <laughs> Head. Ball cap, the drawn on moustache. I mean, it works, you know who it is. It's Christmas time. His name is Max. Famous quote. Thing. Uh, Sky Silvestri from Midnight. Oh, that's a good one. So that was then too. Nice. We also have. Trying to do a stage play there. Crisis 10, so that's just the t shirts rather than yeah. a shirt. We've also got Nardole, of course, the Nardole. War Doctor, my my icon, and the Dream Lord, and then Razor from Series 10 as well, so pre-disguised Johnson. Oh, right. Which Interesting. I had a hat made specifically for that. <laughs> a friend knit me a hat. Cosplay's a funny old hobby, isn't it's it? It's just weird. Can Takes you, you down some weird places. A specific brown hat. I will give you ten photos. Go with it. And it was, <laughs> sure. And it's actually a really accurate replica, so she did very well. Nice. <laughs> See, just looking at that collage, though, I'm kind of glad I didn't come to yours. Because <laughs> I can't imagine... Like, I can imagine just opening a cupboard. Oh, just... And just <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've only got the bag, and it yeah. took, and I was an hour late. Because trying to find all the wigs and shirts and pieces from wherever they were stuffed... Yeah. It was... It was I can only imagine. And there'll be a separate video coming out about all of his cosplays. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know how we're going to film that, but we'll figure it out. Excellent. <laughs> so, uh, but with cosplay, you know, some people get different things out of it. Like, for some people it's an escape. For some people it's about getting it as screen accurate as possible. For some others it's, it's other reasons. So what is your, what is your purpose for cosplay? I don't know. It's that <laughs> deep adoration I'm missing in my life. It's just just the fun. People to go. Oh, that's quite good. Ah, so it's go. for the reaction nice. a lot of the time. Yeah, I, the cosplay itself is incidental. It's nice. To, <laughs> I like putting together pieces, but for someone to then look at it and go, I know who that is, or oh, that looks great. Yeah, that's what I'm after. It's the attention. I'm an attention seeker. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie here, and a, a completely vain. So, Absolutely. hence why he's brown on the bottom, just attention-seeking <laughs> vein. <laughs> That'll be your tagline on the full interview. Ollie, exactly. parentheses, vein. <laughs> Close parentheses. So, here's going to be the trickiest question. Mm -hmm. As you've done so many, do you have a favourite? Whether it be from the oh. reaction, for just looking at yourself and going like, oh, hell yeah, I look great. <laughs> like, what, what would you say is a favourite of yours? 
it depends because there's looking good in them for photos mm. and then there's looking good in person at cons there it, yeah and then there's comfort there's a lot of very uncomfortable ones where i look quite good my three i think it's the the very first three cosplays i did those three characters it's 10 because i'm tall and skinny and I've got good cheekbones, and I can Does spike work. my hair. Yeah. It's kind of a... That's all you really need I for Ted. I rely on that, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, definitely the Rani. Mm. She was my first cross-dressing cosplay, and that's kind of informed the rest of the cosplays that I've done. And then probably the War Doctor, because deeply loves the John Hurts. Oh, and don't we all? All those, the layers, and the pieces, and the props, and the boots, and shirt waistcoat jacket it's a gorgeous costume it's a good thing you didn't wear that one that would have been a nightmare yeah I almost wore that outside. scarf i thought no. I'm, oh, i'll pull that scarf up. not with a jumper not no. in this heat Jesus. i mean you'll sound like john hurt by the time you got here so, <laughs> i'm here <laughs> so i'm looking for the doctor <laughs> well you've come to the right place <laughs> So, um, have you got any future plans? Is the last question. Uh, I'm assuming there's like for you, there's got to be like a list of just random ones. They're just like, oh, that'd be quite nice. I'll do there that in the is, future. I have started because I've got so many tying them more to anniversaries of episodes. Yeah. So I've got an excuse to do them rather than just a out of the blue pick one. And I think this year we've got the 15th anniversary of. Series three, so who have oh, we God, got? Has it been that long? <laughs> so well, I'm not old, but it makes me feel old, and I don't like that. I wasn't <laughs> young enough 15 years ago for me to not feel old now. Yeah. What have we got? Uh, uh, don't, don't think I've got any new because I've got so. Got to do Family of Blood, surely. Like I've done Son of Mine before. That was a random one I did. That's fair. I can see that. Nice. Yeah, and that's why I did it. <laughs> I did. Uh, there was three. Over the years, I've been told I look like three separate people from Doctor mm -hmm. Who. One of which is the Tenth Doctor. I was happy with that. Nice. You know, being yeah. said you look like David Tennant is a compliment. The second one was Luke Rattigan. Right. I mean, I get it. I guess I've got the brows, <laughs> but like. How dare you? It's the main oh, thing. Cool. Yeah. Wow. I, it's, a, it's a good thing I don't sound like him. Not I'm cleverer than you. <laughs> and then the last one was Son of Mine, which, sure. <laughs> which was James Sutton, uh, I believe, is a mutual of ours. Did he say that? He's very rude, that Sutton, isn't he? He is horribly unpleasant. Terrible person. Real vile creature. <laughs> <laughs> but does a decent Dominic impression. Anyway... Yeah, so Not according to Dom, well, oh, quite <laughs> poor old Tom. <laughs> you gotta feel bad for Tom. <laughs> His impressions. He's got one impression that stretches from Dom that can then turn into me. That then, if he gravels it up slightly, it's John Hurt. It's all one impression. <laughs> and I don't know how he does it, but it's you, you can. It's sort of a progression. It's a wheel. <laughs> of, of, of the of circle voices. of impression. <laughs> James Sutton, no, just so multi-talented. He accidentally does impressions by trying to do other ones. Just trips and David Mitchell is on that wheel as well. It's what a strange man. So strange. I'm going to message what him a later weird about this. Guy you are James. Yeah. Weird. This is turning into the roast of James <laughs> Sutton. <laughs> anyway, so who is on the list? Who is on the list? I've got a Harriet Jones at some point. Oh, that's a must. That's yes. <laughs> why not? Um, and a river song. I have never done a river. And I'm really? Enormous hair. That seems like one, a very obvious one right? for you. It is that I have not yet done one, but yeah. no, she is at some point. So Harriet She's got a million and different River. looks, though, so once you're in, like that's a long mm. spiral. Do I want exposed cleavage, or do I want sort of a, something mm. a bit more tasteful? Well, what is the most iconic River look? I mean, the spacesuit would be tricky. That would be tricky. And warm. Um, and warm. There is the catsuit variant, seen in like yes. one episode. Nice. There is. Beaded gowns, husband of River Song. That is a good one. Uh, There's the America look with the jean jacket. That was a good one. Jackets, like that one. Denim. Mm -hmm. uh, Pandorica with that white kind of slightly puffy Ooh, jacket. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. <laughs> River Song. Fashion icon, I think, is the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that is the end of the main interview. We're now going to crack on looking at these costumes in a bag. It's going to be quite exciting, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you for coming over, Ollie. Thank it's you for having me. It's a pleasure chatting to you so far, and we'll figure out what we're going to have for a takeaway in a minute. Lovely. Nice. The end. <laughs>
Yeah. See, I 